when we judge with our eyes and ears, it means that we have discernment. And many people have made a mistake of trusting people by the look of things. When Samuel was sent by God to Jesse's house to go and, and anoint for him a king, most of the sons that came were tall, they were big, they were well fed, they were strong. And he was almost confused at who is it supposed to be. And the first one on the line came. And God said, it is not that one. And the second one. And if it was today, perhaps we could say one who even had connections. Holy Ghost said, not that one. But there was somebody after the heart of God in the bush. And God told him, I do not judge as men do. For men judge by the eyes. And I know many times, not led by the Spirit, you have wounded yourself by judging from the eyes or the ears. May we receive the spirit of discernment. Many times you have looked at people from the face value. And you have thought that this one is the right one who can help me. But church of God, there was one lady who was a house manager. And she was working for one man who had leprosy. A senior officer. And nothing could heal him. But this lady who was a house manager had an answer. Said in our land there is a prophet. And when he went to the prophet he was told dip yourself how many times? Seven times. If he could have judged by the look of the things. Perhaps there were senior doctors in that land. And the senior doctors perhaps had even given him a, a, a card of, we can't help you. But God does not look from the face value. Hallelujah. May the Lord give us the spirit of discernment. Young men and young girls who are not married, do not go for six pack. It is good, Kamaiko. Like it is in Ginazilichanganyika, glory to God. It is still inside that one pack. Hallelujah. Bado iko uko haijajipanga. Hallelujah. And I have no battles with six pack. Hallelujah. I have no battles. If that is the one, amen. But go there because the Lord led you. Don't look by, the, by your eyes. Hallelujah. Don't judge by your look. Allow the Spirit of God to guide you. Don't judge by the paycheck. Judge by the Spirit. I'll not dwell too much on that. I think last week I dwelt a bit on that. When you're praying for a business location, don't go to a place because you think it is right. That may not be your ground. Go to the place that the Lord has set you. If you go to the place where God has sent you, there is provision. If you go to a place because everybody is going there, you will struggle. May you have the spirit of discernment. Not everybody should be your friend throughout. And I told them, you know what? Love is a command for everybody. But friends are a choice. Love is not a choice. But friends are a choice. Have fellowship with people who will be lifting you up. Amen. Not with people who will be pulling you down. Be designing. Hallelujah. Today I want us to look at just a few components that the Spirit of God may allow me. I want us to look at the spirit of wisdom. I want us to go to Proverbs 9:10. Leo hapo kwa machine tunisaidia. Tunisaidia haraka haraka may the grace of God be upon you in a mighty way in Jesus name. The Bible says The fear of the Lord we all know this 1 2 3 let's read it together. Is a beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. What is the fear of God? 
The fear of God is simple. It is to hate evil and all manner of evil. All the appearances of evil. Why did Joseph have such wisdom? Because when Potiphar's wife dared him, he preferred to walk in the fear of the Lord than in the beauty of a woman. Young men, some young men would have said, hey, be, hey, be, be, I'm you know, they used to be chosen because of beauty. Kindly do something for my mic. They used to be chosen by beauty. And if I can tell you a bit of their culture, they would take a whole year in the beauty room. Their hair would be soaked in perfume for a whole year. And they had long hair, their own. Glory to God. It would be soaked in perfume. Their skin would be washed in oil. That's why Job said, when I washed my feet in butter, they would wash their, their skins were beautifully soft. Cleopatra used to wash with milk. That was a culture. So when, when Joseph was being tempted, he was not being tempted by everybody else. He was being tempted by the cream de la cream. Cream de la cream. Now that one I can see Henry has picked it. The top of the cream. Hallelujah. And the Bible says he fled. And you know what? He would have been in a position to keep him financially stable. Very financially stable. In fact, you would have said, Me, I'm a slave. Mfalme, I'm a in favor. Church of God, today in this generation, very few men can run away. Very few. But I know they are here who can run away. There are men in this place who can run away. Glory to God. I'm also speaking faith. Hallelujah. Speaking faith. Hallelujah. And that is why this man had wisdom. And when he went into the pit, he went into prison. God gave him wisdom to reveal gifts. Some people have killed their wisdom at the laps of Potiphar's wives. And today you are going to repent. Father, forgive me. Or Potiphar himself, or, 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 or Manani, the Pharaoh himself. Every time you sin, you deny yourself a chance for wisdom. It is divine wisdom that makes a way for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 8, verse 12. Let's see what wisdom does. Proverbs chapter 8. It is just and number 2. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 12. Are you there? Look at what wisdom does. Today we are going to pray for wisdom. Let's read together. I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. Can you get that in a simpler, because of Lois, simpler English. Today I was, I was doing a, a study uh, I, was just, I was just reading and I found this lady called Livia Volgate. Li, Li, Livia Volgate. She's the youngest billionaire. In the world, she's 19 years. She's a student in the university in Brazil. She's the youngest billionaire at the age of 19. Her and her sister, who is 26, are among the people who got wisdom of witty invention and they invented the electrical. As we are talking, she's the youngest billionaire at 19. She's a, doing her education, but she got a witty idea to invent something higher. I wisdom live together with good judgment. I know where to discover knowledge and discernment. Discovery of knowledge. You know, you don't have to discover a very big thing. There is a certain Kichuma 
me, I don't know, I think we bought it at, a, at, at 100 or 200. Now it is patented. Hiyo kichumo nashika nao sufuria hata ikiwa mzito. Have you seen them zilikuwa nazungushwa kwa barabara? There is somebody's witty invention. All they need to do if they have not done it is to patent from their kulie billions the rest of his life. When God brings a problem in your life, he wants you to get a solution. Every problem is for a solution. And when you pray for divine wisdom, God begins to reveal to you what to do and how to do it. And by that, his name is glorified. Can you lift up your hands and say, Father, I receive wisdom. Where can you pray for yourself wisdom for can I hear you praying for yourself? Jehovah, give me wisdom for wit invention. There is something I can invent, Jehovah, and it can turn my life round about. You have the spirit of God. If the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is in you, then you have the mind of Christ. Activate your mind. Where can you pray seriously? Stop whispering. Pray. Pray. I want to hear somebody praying. Pray, Father, give me witty ideas. Give me witty ideas. Wisdom for witty ideas. Witty ideas, that's your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, that is your portion. Receive it in Jesus' name. Say amen. I too, I receive it. One man called Colgate just got a witty idea on how to make that toothpaste. He was born again. And to today, their family, now they are not in the list of billionaires. Who goes as Peter? One man was in prayer after reading this scripture. And he told God, give me a divine idea, witty wisdom, and I'll be giving you 20%. God told him he will do it. He actually told God, I'll be giving you 30%. Today that company gives back to God 90%. Do you know which one? Coca-Cola. That's why nobody can beat Coca-Cola. And he told God, market for me. And they, uh, you know, he had a, a good conversation with God. He told God, I've started something not known. If you market it for me, I'll give you 30%. God took the market a new, a new height. I wish you'd understand how to trade with God. And he told God, if you take it now beyond our country, I will give you 40%. Now it is intercontinental. And the wealth that is there can take care of the family in many years to come. One man, He Chiang and sons, he Chiang himself, born again, got somebody who dared him because they were creating roads and they were told we need somebody to remove, you know, some two mountains. They had to actually, you know, wazungu kembali sana. So he said, no, 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 you don't need to do that. I will believe God for an idea to create an earth mover. That's why their lorries are called earth movers. And he began by a small idea, made it a big idea. And as he was praying and fasting, the Lord blew up his mind. And today, He Chiang and Sons have got the greatest ad movers. I can tell you countless of believers. I can talk about butter, the shoemaker, man who loved God. I can talk of KFC. A believer who loved Jesus. And at his middle old age, the Lord, he spoke to God and he told him, give me an idea. And God gave him an idea on how to make chicken. Church of God. The next person to be read about is you. Okay, for me I say amen. The next person we are going to talk about is you. The next, and you are not aggressive to receive it. Mwenye tutasoma alikuwa na hii na akatutengenezea hii itakuwa ni mimi Itakuwa ni wewe 
Because I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. That's why the Bible says through desire a man separated himself and intermingled with all knowledge. Say, so you, know, you separate yourself from that phone. Do you know the maker of that phone is eating from you? It is okay and it does good business. Say, you know, you have a candle. You have a candle, you have a candle, you have a candle, you have a candle, you have a you have a candle, Sema, I'm separating myself. In what I'm doing, there is a higher place to go. There is a higher dimension to go. There is a place where I can reach with only one divine idea. Many people got ideas in dreams. And they said, Daya, nilikuwa na kandoto, mi atasikumbuki ni gani. Na jinda ukicheka. Because the enemy stole it. Well, man slept. The enemy planted tears. May the Lord restore back to your dream. In the name of Jesus. It may, not, it may even be a new way of making mandazi. And you package them. There are some queen cakes. I'll not mention the name. That lady used to be in Makandara. Karibu na kule pasta alikuwa naishi. And she got an idea of queen cakes. Na kaanza kuzitengeneza. Witty ideas. Do you know what you are doing? You can do it better. Do you know exactly that here unashuka you can get a style that you can patent. Mtu asishukwe na mwingine ni mimi tu ni yangu nime discover. You know I went to patent detox nikaambiwa hizo ni Mungu aliumba majani. Was it hapo? Haya. Sasa wewe patent an idea glory to God. Get an idea. You can make something. Think in the Holy Ghost. You know the world does not have the Holy Spirit. And so they really use this. As because we have the Holy Spirit, we, we left this to sleep. To live by faith. Mungu anakuangalia na sema by faith they have given you all things for for life and godliness. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7. The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. Are you there? Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7. Wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore get wisdom. And with all you are getting, get understanding. Hallelujah. Any principle means most important. Wisdom is the most important thing. Jesus Christ himself was the express wisdom of God. So if you follow Jesus, you get the express wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can you just tell God, Father, download to me divine wisdom. Download to me. Just tell God, Father, download to me divine wisdom. I want to hear somebody just telling God, download to me. Amen. Glory to God. I want us to go to James 1.5. Let me show you what the Bible says in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 5. James, chapter 1, verse 5. Is it so? Yes, James 1, 5. See your Proverbs. 1, 2, 3. If any of you lack wisdom. Now, stop saying any of you. Say, if I lack wisdom. Let me ask from God. Make it a personal scripture. Personalize the scripture. Amen. Because you keep saying, if any of you lack wisdom. Unaangali ule unasema ule hana wisdom. Actually, mwenye hana ni wewe na mwenye hana ni mimi. Glory to God. Because you are getting a download. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that gives to all men. Liber you know, when we talk of liberally, we are talking of in great amount. And abradeth not, and it shall be given to him. So when you wake up and you pray for wisdom, do you know what? Wisdom determines how you speak. There are people who don't have wisdom of speaking. Unanena maneno yanagwara watu. Unasema sina kibali. When God gives you wisdom, he begins to teach you what you need to do. 
how you need to talk, the wisdom of walking, don't walk like a horse, you're walking all over town like a horse, stop galloping, the wisdom of eating before people, you know the wisdom of God is all round, unapeleko hotel, unanza kuitisha ugali na omena, no me peleko intercontinental, my friend. Oh men I know kakulie kwako. Hallelujah. Well, nyeshe at least nikona class. Pokea hiyo ka wisdom. Hallelujah. Alafu kipata kisu. Na umepata kisu ingine. Na umepata maji andimu hapo. Usienze kukunyo maji andimu. Rafiki yetu alituambia lienda kakunyo maji andimu. What? Mwanya alikuwa memuita, hakuwe muita tena. Instead of washing your hands in it. Wisdom dictates. Usionke. Wait and see. You are told I want to buy you lunch. Wait for them to order for you. Nata hapa kuitisha chakule ya 3,000 na nilikuwa na 2,000. Nafikiri ya taile deal nilikuwa na tutaendelea. Na ana unaitisha. Atia ata ile nyama choma. Ya kio, kio moja. E na kamo kimo. Na angalia mtu wa meanza kusweta na angalia bi. He na ile soup. Kwa hata nipatia soup before utengeneze. Hey, wisdom for daily living. Glory to God. Wisdom dictates. Mtu wa kikuambia na kupeleka lunch. Mwambie, please order for me. Are we together? Please. Many years ago, a friend of mine was loved by a certain man to look at campus and he was a teacher akakuja kumtembelea so alipokuja kumtembelea akaniambia huyu ni mwalimu na akona matatu tukasema oh she was born again they all born again nambi huyu ni mwalimu na akona matatu na simpendi sana so nikamuliza alafu where to and this you know i used to have a group of like 15 we used to be like 15 girls zote tumeokoka so akaniita akaniambia tafuta so tukatafutana we went to the time and get the student center university. Since you wanted to meja. So um a friend of mine akaniambia she was my roommate. Fanya hivi kila mtu aitishe kuku kozu ako na pesa. Chips na na kuku. Sisi tukafurahia we all broke. Amen. Tukaitisha chips na kuku na soda pia na yaka itisha the same. Akaniambia huyu ako na matatu na ako na ni mwalimu so si tukakula and we were 15 now her she was 16 him though was 17 so after tulipokula <laughs> the gentleman was very cunning he was the first one to leave the place my friend akaachwa na deni alilipa a whole semester hallelujah so when you draw, when you dig a pit you may fall into it glory to god Kijana alimuacha hapo inja. Kamuliza haulipi. Kamuambia nuo meita marafiki tafadhali walipie. Aliacho na bill. Akalipa the holes. Alienda kwa dino wakandikisha. Takua kilipa. So, wisdom. Hallelujah. Tukopa moja. Wisdom for living. At times we lose favor. Not because we are not good people. But because when you are taken for lunch, we you eat with your mouth open and you are talking and food is all over. Wisdom. Doors will open when you order your life with wisdom. Glory to God. Order your life with wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. So when you call me for a meeting, the principal thing I need, number one, is wisdom. When you call me for a fellowship, the principal thing I need, number one, is wisdom. When you call me to take you for an event, the principal thing I first need to come with is wisdom. Because it is at such places where you are noted out, you stand out, and favor locates you. Hallelujah. Ask questions. I was called to Serena Hotel on Friday friend of mine told me she wants me to go and have we have breakfast. You are ladies you are friends. Nikamuliza Serena. Amuliza nani analipa. Kaniambia kila mtu anajilipia. Hapa nikajua. Karibu nimuulize so. Utuulize pahali tunataka kuenda. 
So finally we went there. Breakfast is 4500. And it is okay. Glory to God. Mimi nikahesabu kwa kundi la mchanga hiyo naweza nikaweka so saba kazigawa nikazigawa. Wisdom is a principal thing. You talk like you don't need food. Amen. You talk like you don't need I just need two slices and toast and a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. How can I come out I just need two toasted slices, just two, and marmalade and a cup of coffee. But after my bill came, my cup of coffee and two slices was a thousand bob. I said, My glory to God. Wisdom is a principal thing. When you know, I mean, Lipangu Nikatoka Nikaja. Hallelujah. Wherever you go, carry what? Wisdom. The man Daniel stood out because he was a man who was loaded with wisdom. What to do, when not to do, and how to do it. What to say and when to say and when to shut up. Wisdom dictates at times you keep quiet and listen. Amen. It is a principal thing. At times you have missed to hear powerful words because we are speaking too much. Wisdom. Glory to God. Now that the spirit of God is within you, may we begin to manifest the wisdom of God. Number two, the Bible talks of wisdom and understanding. Let us go to Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 5. Proverbs 1 verse 5. I want us to understand a bit about understanding. Glory to God. Let's read together. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. A man of understanding shall attain wise counsel. A person who has got a spirit of understanding is a person who sits to listen. There's one thing I have learned. Even these children have a lot of wisdom they can give you. Even these children may be having a solution. And at times people come to speak to you, but it is you who wants to have the final one. And God had sent that man with one word of wisdom. Hallelujah. If you want to get understanding, be a good listener. Amen. Saingine hata unaanza kusikiza Samon kichwa wako sasa wengine wanapika ugali. Na imagine ugali na kanyama na omene yenye pasta amechaja saa inge kui na testaje. Listen, glory to God. I want to show you somebody. Exodus 31. A man called Bezalil. Uh, I like Exodus chapter 31 and verse 1. I I have read about this man so many times and have coveted what God did for him. Holy coveted. Unajua ile unaambia Mungu, me anything I see God do for somebody, I also want him to do it for me. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's get there. And the Lord spoke one, two, three, and the Lord spoke unto Moses saying, continue, see, call Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of praise gives you a, a higher edge. Number two, Judah means praise. And I have filled him with the spirit of God. In, let's read together, in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship. Yo kazi mungu wa mekupatia, mungu wa naeza kakupatia. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding in all manner of workmanship. Ukitengeneza meza, inakuwa the table. Ukichora picha, inakuwa the picture. Because God gives you the spirit of God in wisdom and understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of 
workmanship. Yani huyu mtu Bezalel if he chose to do your hair it could have been like a divine idea. If he chose to stitch your dress it is like a divine idea. But let's see why God had to do it. Mm-hmm. Let's go to verse 8. Continue. And I have filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom and understanding and knowledge and in all manner of workmanship to devise that's who I am to devise cunning works to work in gold and in silver and in brass and in cutting of stones to set them and in carvings of timber to work in all manner of workmanship and I behold have given with him a holy up the son of Ahishamak of the tribe of Dan and in the heart of all that are wise hearted I have put wisdom that they may make all that have a commanded thee continue what had God commanded the tabernacle of the congregation the ark of the testimony the mercy seat that is thereupon and all the furniture of the tabernacle let's go and the table and his furniture and the pure candlestick with all his furniture and the altar of incense what do can you tap from may you get that as you finish the church would you have to let i kitchen let i kitchen may you receive the anointing of bezalel that as this house of god is being completed everything will fit heavenly design nothing will go out of order excellence perfection that no eye has seen may that be your witty wisdom in jesus name you will build the church with witty wisdom kanisa pale watu watakuwa kingi na kuwa kama ile ya solomon nilikuwa naambia watu wawili jana watu walikuwa naingia kanisa hiyo ya solomon wana faint because of the beauty Naangalia the Bible says and strength would leave them. Can you imagine mtu anaingia kanisa anaona the glory and the beauty. Anazimia pole pole anachukuliwa na ashes. Oh ashes wameanguka ya kutosha. Sasa wako na nguvu. Anachukuliwa na ashes. Anapelekwa nje anaambia yeah, this is the glory of God. Because this is what God did and that's why they were collapsing. The beauty was too much. God had anointed them. What are you doing? I want to pray for people here who are doing kazi ya mkono. Nani anafanya kazi ya mkono? What that needs your wisdom to make a solution. Are you there? Nobody. Eh, uh, witty understanding. I feel the anointing of witty understanding. Ni watu wa music, msicheze music kama kawaida. Glory to God. I feel the anointing to change your story. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing come here praying. Kujeni hapa mkiomba. Kujeni hapa mkiomba. Wakili join them. Hata Mungu akupatie witty invention of ideas. Uh, the Bible says I'll give you listen wakili. I'll give you a tongue and a wisdom that none of your contenders will be able to withstand against it. 